This tiny creek is rumored to hold some big fish. Today I went fishing at it to see what I could catch, and let's just say we caught some giants. Alrighty guys, so here is the creek that we're going to be fishing at today. Now despite the size of this little creek here, I have heard that there are some big fish that live in it. So I'm excited to start fishing and see what we can catch. Alright, so this looks like a pretty good spot to start fishing at. It looks like it gets pretty deep down there. I'm going to start off throwing a little rooster tail spinner right here, so let's see if anything wants to go for this. Alright, here we go. First cast of the day. Let's try to catch some fish now. All right, no luck at this first spot here, so let's keep moving a bit further down the creek to see what else we could find. All right, so this actually looks like a pretty good spot right here, so let's fish here for a bit and see if we can catch anything. All right, so I've been fishing on this creek for about 10 minutes, and one thing I've noticed is that the water looks a lot lower than it usually is, so I think that our key to finding these fish today will be to look for deeper spots. I've actually never fished at this creek before, but it looks like it might be a good spot for some trout and maybe even pike too. Okay, so I was just walking up the creek this way, and unfortunately my GoPro was turned off, but there was a pike right in front of me, and as soon as I saw him, he saw me too, and he swam up the creek that way. But at least we know that there are fish in here now. Alrighty, so I actually just followed the creek all the way up until it leads into this lake right here, and I have no doubt in my mind that there are some fish over in this area, so let's try to catch them. You guys, there are fish everywhere here. I can see a giant bass right in front of me, and there's a huge carp over there. I think I might switch up lures to try to catch them. All right, so I just went ahead and tied on a little curly tail grub on a jig head right here. Let's see if they want to go for this. Oh my gosh, there we go, you guys. Oh, we got a pike on. We got a pike. No way. Look at that. We actually got a fish. That's a nice one, too. That's a nice sized northern pike right there. Forgot my net, so I don't know how we're going to be able to bring this guy up here. Oh my gosh, that guy just jumped out of the water. That was crazy. All right, I think I'm actually just gonna have to lift this guy up here. Hope he doesn't break my line. And we got him, no way, look at that. Oh my goodness, I actually just caught a northern pike out of this little creek right here. That is crazy. Got him on that little grub right there too. You guys, so I just caught a northern pike out of this tiny little creek here. This creek is no more than a foot deep, but clearly there are some big fish in it. That is so cool, that's our first one of the day. Wow, that is so cool right there, a little northern pike. And there he goes. Nice. Well, that fish was absolutely insane. That was the last thing I was expecting to catch out of this tiny little creek here. Let's get it right back down there and see what else we can catch now. That was awesome. That fish was probably one of my favorite catches ever. He came out of nowhere and absolutely hammered this little grub right here. I'm surprised he didn't break our line when we were bringing him up here, but that was really cool. Let's see what else we can catch. Oh my gosh, and we got another one. No way, the cast right after that last one too. We got another pike on. What, that is crazy. Oh my gosh, and we got him. There's number two of the day. Wow, take a look at that right there. That is our second northern pike of the day. A little bit smaller than that last one, but still a really nice fish. I think that this spot right here is a hidden gem. That is so cool. Nice, that is northern pike number two of the day. And he's back, that was so cool. This has got to be one of my most insane days of fishing ever so far. When I came out here, I expected to catch maybe some bluegills and rock bass, but here we are with two northern pike. That is crazy. Yep, there we go. And another one. Look at that. It's crazy how many fish are here. Another northern pike. That is wild. Oh my gosh, this guy's going crazy. That's a really big one right there too. Oh, he's not done yet. And we got him. Wow, look at that. Number three. Look at that, that is pike number three of the day. Such a cool looking fish, got big teeth on him. Let's get him right back down there. And there he goes, nice. Okay, so we fished with that curly tail grub for about 45 minutes and we were able to catch three really nice sized pike on it, but I wanted to switch it up a little bit. So I just tied on a little blue and silver jerk bait right here. Let's see if anything wants to go for this. All right, so although we were able to catch a bunch of fish at this spot, it seems like the bite has kind of slowed down. So I think I'm gonna start to work my way back up the creek. Oh my goodness, there's a pike right in front of me. It's a little northern pike. Oh, I think I spooked him when I casted. Crazy how many fish are in this tiny little creek here. There's so many of them. 
Okay, so I've been walking up the creek a ways and we have not been able to catch any more fish So I think that just about wraps it up for today's video overall We had a pretty crazy day of fishing. I believe that we caught three pike in total So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time